boys and girls. So today we're going to be talking about uh, joining sentences for grammar today. We're going to talk about joining sentences using the words so and because. So you did this yesterday with the words and, but, and or, but now we're going to talk a little bit about joining it with joining two sentences to make one big sentence using so and because. All right, so for these sentences, if there are two sentences that tell a cause and effect, they're talking about the same situation and they tell a cause and effect, they can be joined together to make one big sentence using the words so or because. I have a couple examples up here, so we'll do that together. I'm gonna read them out loud. If you can, read them along with me, and then I'm gonna show you how to combine them to make one sentence. So, let's read our top ones up here. Chen is cold, sentence one. He does not have his coat. All right, let's read it one more time. Chen is cold. He does not have his coat. Very good, so those are the two sentences, and those two sentences have a cause and effect, right? So the cause is that Chen does not have his coat, and because of that, he is cold. So there's a cause and effect. Now we're gonna put these two sentences together to make one big sentence. Now we can't just squish them together and just make a new big sentence. We have to actually add a word. We're going to add the word because to make it make sense. All right, so let's see, let's start here. Chen is cold because, so we've got to write the word because, very important, so we'll underline it, because he does not, go back over here, have his coat. All right, so Chen is cold because he does not have his coat. That is our new sentence. And does that sentence make sense? Yes, it does. It makes sense because we added the word because. Otherwise, if we just tried to squish the two sentences together, it wouldn't make sense. But I want you to notice something. So our first sentence, Chen is cold. That sentence is right here, exactly the same. Then our sentence, he does not have his coat. That sentence is here, exactly the same. So the two sentences stay exactly the same. We just add the word because. It's like uh, if we had a new student in the class, all the other students would stay exactly the same, but we would just have another student. So just like that, the sentences stay exactly the same, but we add the word because to make it one longer sentence. All right, so we use the word because. Let's try one with the word so. Again, we're gonna read some sentences that show cause and effect, and we're going to have to add so to bring them together to make one big sentence. All right, let's read these ones together. Barb lives far away, sentence one. She rides the bus to school, sentence two. So there are our two sentences, Barb lives far away, she rides the bus to school. We're gonna combine these sentences, join these sentences using the word so. What are the cause and effect in these sentences? The cause is Barb lives far away. So because she lives far away, she rides the bus to school. So there's that cause and effect again. Now we're going to write this sentence, well these sentences, rewrite them to make one big sentence. Remember, the sentences stay exactly the same, right? They stayed exactly the same up here, we just added a word. So, let's do that. We have Barb lives far away, so, oh, we add the word so, so, she rides the bus to school. All right, you see, we joined these using the word so, we joined these two sentences together. All right, so let's read our whole sentence. Barb lives far away, so 
She rides the bus to school. So these two sentences are exactly the same. Barb lives far away, exactly the same. She rides the bus to school, exactly the same. We just added the word so to join the sentences and connect them and make them, and, uh, make them better and make it make sense. All right, so that's what we have been learning about in grammar this week, just joining sentences and just adding that one word to put them together. Not having to change anything else about them, just adding that word. Here, let me give you a couple examples that I came up with. Okay, okay, here's two sentences. Miss Rabbito tripped. She was not watching where she was going. Two sentences. But I can put those together using the word because. All right, so we'll say Miss Rabbito tripped Whoa. because she was not watching where she was going. She was watching the computer. She was not watching where she was going, so she tripped. All right, so uh, Miss Rabbito tripped because she was not watching where she was going. Instead of having two separate sentences, we put them together and have the word because right in the middle of them to join them together. All right, one more example. School was closed. The students learned at home. Let's put it together using the word so. Try saying it with me if you can remember the sentences. School was closed, so the students learned at home. All right, so, be, so the school was closed, so the students learned at home. Instead of having two separate sentences, you can put them together and put the word so right in the middle of those sentences to join them to make one sentence. So that, boys and girls, is how you join sentences using the words so and because. I am going to talk to you a little more tomorrow um, just to review and and but and or and so and because and we will look at it then. All right.